Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, there lived a man named Sam. Sam was known for his rather peculiar but infectious laugh that echoed through the cobblestone streets. One day, as he strolled through the village square, he overheard a group of people chatting about the newfound interest in meditation. Namaskaram, everybody! Suddenly, people who never even considered sitting still are all about meditation, Sam mused to himself. Curiosity piqued, he decided to attend a talk on how to meditate like a Zen monk by a wise sage. The sage unfolded the mysteries of meditation with a touch of humor that resonated with Sam's cheerful spirit. First of all, what does the word meditation even mean? The sage pondered. In English, it's like trying to catch a cloud, elusive and undefined. If someone sits with their eyes closed, we assume they must be meditating. They could be mastering the art of sleeping vertically for all we know. Sam couldn't help but burst into laughter at the image of people in deep meditation being mistaken for expert nappers. The sage continued, Meditation isn't something you do. It's a quality, a consequence of a process. It's like wanting flowers in your garden without bothering about the soil, manure, water and sunlight. Some folks want plastic flowers, a five-year guarantee and no hassle, just like life. The mention of plastic flowers tickled Sam's funny bone. Five years guaranteed, unlike your life, he chuckled. As the sage delved deeper into the essence of meditation, he spoke of life being more than just material possessions, a concept that resonated with Sam. He explained how becoming meditative is like cultivating a garden of body, mind, emotion and energy. Inspired, Sam found a quiet spot by the village pond, away from the chatter and clatter. With a twinkle in his eye and a grin on his face, he decided to give meditation a shot, following the exact steps outlined by the wise sage. All right, let's see if I can meditate like a Zen monk, Sam whispered to himself. He sat comfortably, embracing the serenity of the pond, and began with deep breaths. As thoughts floated by like playful fish, he acknowledged them without getting entangled, just as the sage had advised. Sam became aware of the joy bubbling within him, feeling the warmth of the sun, the rustle of leaves and the ripples of the pond. In his mind, Sam visualized a little space between himself and his thoughts, a gap where he could observe without being carried away. It was the end of mental clutter, and he found solace in the quiet space within. With each breath, Sam allowed the serenity within to radiate outward. The sage had mentioned that meditation was not a limitation. It was an empowerment to navigate the world with grace. Sam embraced this, envisioning his laughter spreading like ripples across the village. As Sam opened his eyes, he felt a profound sense of peace. It wasn't about being superhuman. It was about realizing that being human was indeed super. With a newfound lightness in his step, Sam continued his journey through the village, carrying the essence of meditation in his infectious laughter and spreading joy to everyone he encountered. And so in the village of simple joys, Sam meditated like a Zen monk one laughter-filled moment at a time. The news of Sam's transformation spread through the village like wildfire, and soon the curious villagers gathered around him. Sam, what happened to you? inquired old Martha, the baker, her flower-dusted hands folded in front of her apron. Sam chuckled. I've been meditating like a Zen monk, Martha. Turns out it's not about sitting still like a statue, but finding a calm pond within ourselves. The villagers exchanged puzzled glances, prompting Sam to share the wisdom he had gained from the sage's talk. As he spoke, his laughter weaved through the words like a melody, making the profound seem simple and accessible. Imagine life as a garden, folks, he said, gesturing with animated hands. We're all busy planting flowers of success, but we forget about the soil of our being. Meditation is like tending to that soil, making sure our garden grows lush and vibrant. The villagers, initially skeptical, 
found themselves drawn to Sam's infectious enthusiasm. Soon, they were laughing along with him, envisioning their lives as unique gardens awaiting cultivation. Inspired by Sam's tale, the village decided to hold weekly meditation sessions by the tranquil pond. The villagers, young and old, joined in, each bringing their own flavor to the practice. Some would giggle at the thought of sleeping vertically, while others found peace in the stillness of their minds. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the village square, the sage who had inspired Sam returned to the village. He was delighted to see the transformation that had taken place. Well, well, it seems like laughter is the best meditation, the sage remarked, his eyes twinkling. Sam, surrounded by his fellow villagers, nodded with a grin. Indeed, wise one, laughter is the bridge between meditation and the ordinary world. It brings joy to the heart and lightness to the soul. The sage chuckled, acknowledging the profound truth in Sam's words. Together, they led the villagers in a laughter-filled meditation session, merging the ancient wisdom with the simple joys of life. And so, in the quaint little village, the laughter of Sam became a symbol of meditation, a practice not confined to the mountaintops, but woven into the fabric of everyday existence. The villagers continued to tend to their inner gardens, embracing the dance of laughter and stillness and the infectious joy of Sam's laughter echoed through the cobblestone streets for generations to come. Before I give you some tips, please like and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring and uplifting content. Here are some tips and tricks on how to meditate like a Zen monk. Embrace the mystery of meditation. The sage in the story emphasized that meditation is not a rigid technique, but an evolving journey. Embrace the fluidity and ambiguity of the practice, allowing it to unfold naturally within you. Find a quiet and serene space. Sam's choice of a tranquil spot by the village pond illustrates the importance of finding a peaceful environment for meditation. Minimize distractions and create a space that fosters tranquility and inner peace. Cultivate comfort and stillness. Just as Sam settled into a comfortable position, ensure your posture is relaxed and upright. Avoid slouching or fidgeting, allowing your body to find a sense of inner stillness. Focus on your breath. Sam's technique of observing his breath without getting entangled with thoughts is a key aspect of Zen meditation. Pay attention to the rise and fall of your breath without trying to control or manipulate it. Acknowledge distractions and gently return to your breath. As Sam acknowledged the playful fish of his thoughts, recognize that distractions are inevitable in meditation. Acknowledge them without judgment and gently guide your attention back to your breath. Visualize a space between thoughts. Sam's mental visualization of a gap between himself and his thoughts is a powerful tool for detaching from mental chatter. Imagine a small space where you can observe your thoughts without being swayed by them. Allow serenity to radiate outward. Sam's envisioning of his laughter spreading like ripples across the village highlights the transformative power of meditation. As you find inner peace, allow it to radiate outward, gently affecting your interactions with the world around you. Embrace laughter and joy. Sam's infectious laughter is a testament to the joyful nature of Zen meditation. Cultivate a sense of lightheartedness and playfulness allowing your inner joy to shine through. Continuously cultivate the mindful garden. As the sage likened meditation to maintaining a garden, remember that it's an ongoing practice. Regularly nurture your mindfulness and cultivate the qualities of peace, equanimity, and compassion. Embody the essence of meditation in daily life. Carry the essence of meditation into your daily interactions, bringing a mindful and compassionate approach to your relationships and endeavors. Allow your inner peace to radiate and positively impact your world.